Here, we're being asked to define something that's called a, a piecewise defined function. And, you know, a regular function, a non piecewise defined function, might look something like this f of x equals x plus 2. And what that means is no matter what x is, f of x is always x plus 2. You just add 2 to it to find out what the value of the function is. Or in other functions, you could square it or do other things. In a piecewise function, it depends what x is. So if you look at this one, if x is between negative 2 and up to and including negative 1, the value of the function is 1. If it's between negative 1 and 0, the function value is 0. If it's between 0 and 1, the function value is 1. If it's between 1 and 2, the function value is 2. So this function is defined just for these set of um, ranges, this, this interval. You'll see up here it says it's defined on this interval from negative 2 to 2. And they've got these brackets, one of them curved and one of them squared off. In case you haven't seen that before, this is called interval notation. And what it means is it's defined between negative 2 and 2, not including the negative 2. That's what the curved bracket means. But including, up to and including the 2, that's what the square bracket means. OK, so what we're being asked to do in this problem is just evaluate the function. So take a value of x, plug it into the function, and get out the value of the function. In a function like this, f of x equals x plus 2, we'd take that negative 1, we'd add 2 to it, and that would be our function value. For a piecewise def defined function, we just need to look and find out what range it falls in and just read the value here. So negative 1. Well, let's see. Uh, here I've got negative 2 is less than x is less than or equal to negative 1. Well, that's equal to uh, negative 1. So that would the negative 1 would fall in this range. So that means the value of the function at negative 1 is negative 1. So here is the value negative 0.25. That falls between negative 1 and 0. So the value of the function there is 0. And finally, we've got h of 1. We have to be careful. You know, there were two negative ones here, and here's two ones. One of them's included. That's the um, the uh, less than or equal than sign here, less than or equal to sign here. So that's the one, the interval that one is included in, and the value there is one. So that's really all there is to evaluating a piecewise defined function. Hope that helps.